Welcome back to CRB Trades. It's been a while. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading as much. I've been really busy. Got a new job in the night shift and it is completely taking a toll on my body. But here we are again. I just, before we get started, I wanted to thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. It's really, I can't even believe it. I mean, I'm not even at a year yet. We're getting close to one year of this channel, but when I started, I thought I was gonna maybe have 200 by a year. I, wow, 600, that's, <laughs> that's insane. So I just wanted to, real quick before we get started, just thank you guys so much for all the support and it just really means a lot to me. Now, about a week ago, I asked you guys in my community tab to ask me some questions about literally anything you wanted. And most of these were about trains, which I expected, but there's a couple that aren't. And I thought it'd be a fun little video to do. I did one for 200 subscribers, and now we've got 400 more than that. So I've got a lot more questions. Uh, but here we go, let's get this thing started. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the questions. Starting off with Midnight Rail Fan. Congrats on 600 subscribers. Thank you very much. Aside from the Pierre Marquette 1225, which we all know is your forever number one, that is correct, I love that thing. What are your three favorite operational steam locomotives as of 2022? Now, um, I'm assuming you mean operating as of like for 2022, because there's a lot that are gonna be operating, but some of them aren't. So the ones that are operating, I'd have to say, besides the 1225, because that's definitely number one, uh, I'd probably say Nickel Plate Road 765 would be number one. Number two, I'd probably say Reading and Northern 2102. I, I like that thing a lot, I'd love to see it. And number three would be the Milwaukee Road 261. It hasn't ran yet, but it's supposed to run. So those would be my number three, excluding the Polar Express, of course. All right. Bluegrass Trains and Buses says, have you ever considered coming to Burnside, Tateville, or Somerset? I have. I like to go to a lot of different places, but it's all depending on my schedule, what I can and can't do. So in a short answer, yes, I'd love to get out there. I just don't know when it's gonna be. The Nice Rail Finger asks, what steam engine do you plan on seeing next? Ready to Northern 21 or two should be my next one. Uh, and it could be pretty soon, so keep your eye on that. Buccaneer Rail Fanning asks, which of the three CSX Spirit of Hour units is your favorite? So, Pride of Service. Um, I'd have to go 3194 for sure. That beautiful RS5T, it's a great looking locomotive. It's just, it's brilliant. Sunnyside Rails said, now that you have a new camera that you purchased for taking photos, what are your long-term plans on using this? To also take over some of the video aspects of your channel? Will you use this to add additional angles or will this eventually become your main camera for video? Um, so, the camera that I just bought is mainly for photography because I've tried to use multi, I've tried to use multiple cameras before in, in videos. Like if you watch my Southern 4501 video, I had three different cameras and the quality was like different in every scene. So for that reason, I'm not gonna do that. However, I am looking into getting a video camera pretty soon. So that one will be specifically for my videos. He also asked, if BNSF did only one heritage unit, would you rather see a war bonnet or a BN green unit? I gotta go with the war bonnet. Just, just picture this in your head real quick. An SG70As with the classic red and silver of the Santa Fe, Oh, it'd be absolutely glorious, and I would definitely foam over it. Why not slap an RS5T on it, too? North Penn Valley Steam Railroad asks, how long have you been rail fanning? So I started at the end of 2020. However, I, that's when I was like just starting. I didn't really get into it until mid-2021, and then around... Um, Late July of 2021, I was like, you know what? Why am I not taking videos? Then when I found out about the heritage units, the special interest units, all the different class ones, I was hooked. And then I was doing it multiple days a week. 
Mr. Railyard says, hi CRB, congratulations on getting 600 subs. Thanks man. Um, he asked four different questions. Can you do a video with trains or train simulator? And trains is train Z. Um, I'm not super big into video games. However, if you'd like to do a collab sometime, because I know you do it on your channel, I'd be more than happy to do that. Uh, his second question was, do you like B&O or C&O better? I'm gonna have to go with Baltimore and Ohio. Do you like the Blue Comet? I do like the Blue Comet. And Canadian National or Canadian Pacific? I'm gonna have to go Canadian National just because of their variety of power. Um, Searchlight asked, which locomotive engine sound do you prefer? EMD or GE? So sound wise, I'm gonna have to go GE just because there's multiple different sounds associated with it. There is with both, but with GE, like, it'll rumble, it'll, the, when the air compressor kicks on, it makes like a whoop noise, and I love that. There's sometimes, I don't know uh, what causes all the sounds exactly, but there's just a lot of different noises that you can hear. EMD sounds really good too. It's just, it's more of a high pitch single tone noise, which is cool when it's in right, but for me personally, I think the GE sounds better. However, visually, I think EMD locomotives look better. Uh, next, we have CSX and NS training videos. What is the aspect of the hobby you love the most? Um, probably the unknown, just sitting, not knowing what you're gonna get. Cause recently I've been going out specifically for special engines, but it kind of takes away the love for rail fame from where I started. Like I didn't know anything about it. So I just sat there and just waited and you might get a train, you might not. I, so the aspect of the unknown, if you're gonna get something is my favorite. Jackboy317 asked, who do you like better, Nickel Plate Road or New York Central? I'm gonna have to go New York Central. Kenton County Rail Fan Productions asked, would you go to Tower A to see the Cardinal? Uh, I have been to Tower A to see the Cardinal because I got off the Cardinal when I rode it from Washington, D.C. to Cincinnati. Um, when I got off the train, it was at Tower A. However, I think what you're meaning specifically is what a Rail Fan Tower A. I would, but I don't know how to get there without having an Amtrak ticket. So if you can find out a way, let me know and I'd be more than happy to. Colorado Joint Line Productions asked, what is the best train you've caught in 2022 so far? So excluding steam locomotives, I'd probably have to give it to the military train that I caught down in Melbourne, Kentucky, and it had a Kansas City Southern Grey Goose leader, and it had a uh, Kansas City Southern SD70H train on second, and it was pulling a long, military train. That was an unbelievable catch and it was just an awesome moment for me. Adventurer Ian asked, what's your favorite class one railroad? I'd have to say BNSF. I love War Bonnets. I love the BN. I just love how they're, they still have a lot of the original paint on some of their older locomotives. I think that's so cool. Rails of Kentucky asked, what is your favorite signal type? I'm gonna have to get Searchlight. It's the first cool signal that I saw. Like the first old school, besides the vape, like Vaders are the new. The first old school signal I saw was searchlights, and I have them on the CC subdivision right in my backyard. When I say that, it's like two miles from my backyard. But you get what I mean. Searchlights are really cool. I love how it has that revolving, just one bulb and the revolving um, glasses that have the color. So I think that's really cool. CPLs are awesome too. I just, something about the searchlight just speaks to me. Medium Clear Productions asked, do you plan on taking an East Coast trip? The answer is yes, very soon. You remember earlier how I mentioned Ready 2102? That's East Coast. I might have a trip planned, maybe. Rail fan Brett Rail fan asked, would you rather drive five minutes for a Jeevo or five hours for a steam engine? That's a no brainer, five hours for a steam engine. Stormy Sky Rail Productions asked, what got you interested in filming trains? I've explained this before, but it was back, it was a while ago. It was actually in my 200 subscriber Q&A. So I've got some um, mental health issues. I get nervous a lot. I've got some depression. And I've always been looking for something to ease it. And I've just had some trouble finding what that could be, a cure for it. So my buddy, Searchlight, I just, he asked a question earlier. 
he told me, he's always, he's like trains, and he's like, hey, you want to go watch some trains? And I, at first I was like, I don't know, dude, like that sounds kind of boring. He brought me, we caught a blue devil, which I, neither of us knew at the time what it was. <laughs> it was really crazy. I'm so glad we got to see that thing. And then when I found out about that, I found about I found out about all of the special interest units, and I'm like, man, this is like a trophy system, seeing who can catch the most things. Like that's awesome. So that's what got me into it, and it's really relieving to my mind just sitting there out. I think it's kind of peaceful. CSX 500 asked, "What is your favorite train horn unit? It can be one that still has the horn, or it can be one that is that it has removed the horn." So, um, my favorite unit with a horn that's gone now, like the horn's gone, was CSX 559. They had a Leslie RS3K horn, and it sounded unbelievable. I've got a video on it on my channel. If you go to my playlist, find CSX Special Interest Units, press that, go down and find CSX 559. Oh man, it was the most beautiful sounding horn I've ever heard. Now my favorite train, my favorite unit with a cool horn that is still on the roster is CSX 3194 with that gnarly RS5T. That thing is thunderous and I can't get enough of it. You've seen how much 3194 has been on my channel. I love that thing. Anytime it's leaving, coming my way, as long as it's not at a stupid hour, like four in the morning, you can pretty much guarantee I'll be trackside waiting for that thing. NS Rail Fan Productions asked, do you like meeting new rail fans? Oh, absolutely. I've met so many friends in the rail fan community, so many friends. And I've met some people who recognize me from YouTube too, which is honestly the coolest thing ever. Them walking up, are you CRB trains? Yeah, like that's awesome. I mean, I can't, I cannot stop smiling when that happens. So if you ever see me in public, come say hi. It might be a bit scary, but I will talk to you all day about trains. And if you want to be friends, I'll be your friend. Central NH Rail Fan Production asked, what are your top three favorite railroads? So I'd have to say BNSF is number one. Canadian National is probably number two just because of the variety of power. And then I say Union Pacific is number three because I just love how they care about their heritage so much. I think it's awesome how they have a steam program on the main line. And they have some great looking locomotives as well. So that's the end of the questions. Thank you guys so much for everything you've done to help this channel grow. I cannot wait to see what the future holds. I cannot wait to see some of the new catches that I might get, and I can't wait to meet more of you guys. So if there's anything else you'd like to see, just leave it in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do for you. But other than that, thank you guys so much once again, and have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.